protector of the champions, the championships, and made those challenges well, extra talk special. About a champion with a long championship run. Look no further than to your right hand side, Nigel McGuinness, hey. and the longest ring of honor world championship reigns of all time. Talk about more more guts than brains. Look at the strength here from Robin. You fought through injury after injury to hang on to that title and continue to win for all that time as ROH world champ. The pride of a champion is second to none. All right, so whose side are you on? You gotta pick a side. Are you are you on Roderick's side or are you with MJF in this whole deal? Oh, I like to cool things down the middle. I like to be objective. Let's get back to this match. It's going on right now. Oh, the Statlander took her eyes off of Robin for a second. Certainly lives up to that renegade name, that renegade style. Watch these strikes if she starts to uncork them. Robin, can, she does not get cheated, and here is a cover with the leg hook. After Robin faced Billy Starks on the ring of honor, both Robin and Charlotte attacked Starks, and that would have been the end of it were it not for unlikely Ario and the ring of honor women's champion, Athena. And there we see Charlotte. Never too far away from the action with referee Mike Posey. Well, the Renegade sisters are from Dayton, Ohio. I'm not sure whether Cleveland have anything against Dayton. So it will be Roderick Strong versus Darby Allen, semi-final number one, Grand Slam World Title Eliminator. All right, I never sat there with a stopwatch, but yeah. Mike Bennett and Matt Taven will say, oh, Adam Cole got down to the ring faster for MJF than he did for you, Roddy. Well, there's certainly something to that, but whoever wins, whoever advances, either would be a great challenger for MJF as the AEW champion. Oh! Close line, and now the back elbow. Statlander with the answer. So impressed the way Chris Statlander overcame the challenge. Emmy Sakura, great champion that in her rights past Wednesday on Dynamite. Statlander, the charge and the running elbow. Certainly a very confident champion in the part of Statlander. You can see both knees with the strong bracing cover. The Blue Thunder and how about, come on now. Whoa. Charlotte risking disqualification. She was just showing some concern. That's a veteran move right there. And involved by holding the distraction. It'll pay off if Robin gets the win, new champion. No. Whoa, Face first. Second. Is this the upset? Shoots the half. Good cover. Center of the ring, but the Statlander able to kick out. Well. Right now, though, Robin Renegade clearly in the driver's seat, and for a second it looked like she didn't know what to do with it. And oh, this no, and got caught. Absolute worst place. Up on the shoulders. Oh, and down. With the power of Statlander there. And now, oh. Charlotte, I don't think there's any saving for Robin at this moment in time. Hang on a second. Standing switch. Statlander goes to the ropes. Roll through, roll up, and got it! Winner of this match, the TBS champion, Chris Statlander. Oh, no! Second. Top Making a statement. The Renegade sisters attacking the TBS champion. Embittered Robin Renegade with Sister Charlotte holding. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? It is! Oh my god! The Listen. return of Jay Cargill! Listen to Cleveland erupt! Jay Cargill! Who's 60? Street was stopped at the hands of Chris Statlander, now coming down as Statlander is in deep trouble! Oh. 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 Up! Down!
Uh-oh! Oh! oh, face first! Jade Cargill is it back for fun and games. She's back for business, and she's back for her championship. What's this guy doing here? Mark Mark Stern, he's got his finger in a lot of pies, and right now, the return to US, the statuesque blonde, the former TBS champion, is back, and she made a statement. TBS Championship, Chris Statlander with a lot to think about.